Asfik is the leader between the final two. Asfik and Ruby Walsh go on now over the last from Hellcat Maggie and then Millie Lebeck. End of the closing stages. Asfik with on the near side. Hellcat Maggie trying to frighten her. But Asfik has won it from Hellcat Maggie. And in third place, Millie Lebeck. And then Bally Browniella, one for Lily. A length behind him in third place as they come to the second last. And it's Asfik who lands in the lead from one for Lil. Hellcat Maggie trying to throw down a challenge on the near side. But Asfik is the leader between the final two. Asfik and Ruby Walsh go on now over the last from Hellcat Maggie and then Millie Lebeck. End of the closing stages. Asfik with on the near side. Hellcat Maggie trying to frighten her. But Asfik has won it from Hellcat Maggie. And in third place, Millie Lebeck. And then Bally Browniella, one for Lil. And then take a light and they're clear. flight D for Darcy, Fantastic Bob and on the near side Diamond Geezer Luke as they race up to the finish and it's Fantastic Bob and Davy Russell with the advantage from Diamond Geezer Luke as they go to the line, Fantastic Bob is one of Bank bonus and Fantastic Bob being delivered now between horses, Diamond Geezer Luke coming with a late run on the outside and then Pirlo, down they come to the final flight D for Darcy, Fantastic Bob and on the near side Diamond Geezer Luke as they race up to the finish and it's Fantastic Bob and Davy Russell with the advantage from Diamond Geezer Luke as they go on the line. Fantastic Bob has won it for Davy Russell and Austin Lee. He beats Diamond Gazer Luke 30 for Darcy. Close for fourth and fifth. Bank Bob. <laughs> last now and Grove Field has made ground on the inside to join our man Zebo, the King of Connemara on the near side they're followed by some Hawk Sam Da Vinci with a charge towards the outside as they come to the final flight now Grove Field our man Zebo, the grey in the centre up the rail is some Hawk the King of Connemara Sam Da Vinci forever gold a bunch finish our man Zebo in the centre Sam Da Vinci foot soldier one in the dark your busiest dropped right out of contention they're coming down towards the second last now and Grove Field has made ground on the inside to join our man Zebo, the King of Connemara on the near side they're followed by some Hawk Sam Da Vinci with a charge towards the outside as they come to the final flight now Grove Field our man Zebo, the grey in the centre up the rail is some Hawk the King of Connemara Sam Da Vinci forever gold a bunch finish our man Zebo in the centre Sam Da Vinci on the rail is some Hawk the King of Connemara Grove Field and forever gold a blanket Waldo picked on landing but Lord Ben has increased his lead at the final fence safely over from false economy hospital is next in third and then Schlevarda but racing up towards the finish it's Lord Ben and Andrew Lynch all the way winners never headed victory very tight second and third now for the final two fences in the Kevin Broderick Memorial Handicap Chase the leader is still Lord Ben leads by three lengths with one to jump and a mistake by Waldo picked on landing but Lord Ben has increased his lead at the final fence safely over from false economy Hospital is next in third and then Schlevarda but racing up towards the finish it's Lord Ben and Andrew Lynch all the way winners never headed victory very tight second and third Hospital and false economy with Schlevarda next <laughs> now by Andreas Pride Winnie Cooper is third this is the final fence now Annie Oakley's down and Andreas Pride has been gifted it surely Roisin Dove has been brought down and up towards the finish in an instant back closing stages it's Andreas Pride the winner close second towards the second last from Winnie Cooper then Roisin Dove Andreas Pride trying to make ground between horses as they jump the second last fence and on the run now to the last it's Annie Oakley chased now by Andreas Pride Winnie Cooper is third this is the final fence now Annie Oakley's down and Andreas Pride has been gifted it surely Roisin Dove has been brought down and up towards the finish in an instant back closing stages it's Andreas Pride the winner close second and third spring bell on the near side of has moved third this is the final fence and gone beyond recall is over five six lengths clear now of Cork Citizen on the outside of Fort George but running up towards the finish gone beyond recall winds back the clock to make all close go with the leader then Sebedee Cork Citizen is running on in the centre then Rocket Man and Anna Carton over the second last and gone beyond recall out in front now between the final two fences Fort George second Cork Citizen has moved third this is the final fence and gone beyond recall is over Five.
five, six lengths clear now of Cork Citizen on the outside of Fort George, but running up towards the finish, gone beyond recall, winds back the clock to make all, close second and third, Fort George on the inside of Cork Citizen. Killer Crow, the leader under Patrick Mullins for Mr. Bossman, second, being followed by Moore's Road, Starry Night next, and then Million Dollar Man and Castle Beach King, but racing outside the furlong mark, Killer Crow has raced clear now, gone six, seven lengths in front of Starry Night, Mr. Bossman and Moore's Road, but racing into the final hundred yards, it's Killer Crow and Patrick Mullins, who are well, well clear, and Killer Crow... And Patrick Mullins have made all to win, opening and closing double for his dad, Willie. Star Starry Knight next, and then Million Dollar Man and Castle Beach King, but racing outside the furlong mark, Killer Crow has raced clear now, gone six, seven lengths in front of Starry Knight, Mr. Bossman and Moore's Road, but racing into the final hundred yards, it's Killer Crow and Patrick Mullins, who are well, well clear, and Killer Crow and Patrick Mullins have made all to win, opening and closing double for his dad, Willie. Starry...